to another edition of Stepping Up Big Time. I'm your host, Newby Rat Tone. Stepping Up, we discuss sports, all sports, nothing but sports. I'm joined by two sports analysts. Lord Marville. Car. Once again, we are back. It's good to have you guys back on the same cast. Let's not, you know, let, let's try to discuss this. It's going to be mean, tough. It's here. It's right here. It's what we've all been waiting for. Mm -hmm. Celtics and Lakers, let's not get cute. Two number one let's, seeds. Let's not let's get keep cute it real, with baby. this, okay? Let's keep it real. Who's going to win this series, and how will they win? I want sleepers. I want matchups. I want the whole nine yards. Let's go. You what do you think? I'll go, I'll go first. Uh, it's going to be tough. I think it's going to it's gonna go 6-7. I really believe that it's going to go 6-7. And the reason why I think it's the 2-3-2 two, two setup, I think the three, um, three home games for the Lakers is really going to be key, and the Celtics need to win one, at least one, to you know, actually he dominate yeah, the series. Yeah, but I feel like it's going to go 6-7. or seven. Of course, Kobe's going to go crazy. He's going to get his points. Uh, it's just the supporting cast. You have to see what they're going to do. And Paul Pierce, KG is going to be hungry. This is his chance, maybe his last chance. Ray Allen, it's going to be all-out brawl on the court. Kyrie. I was taught as a young man <laughs> that when you're an underdog, you got to go swing and throw haymakers. Mm -hmm. So game one's very, very important for the Celtics. All the aspects on TV, they're predicting, oh, Lakers are a better team. They can't lose. Boston, they've been struggling all playoffs. Oh, uh, they're not consistent. They can't win. That first game in Boston is huge. We need to get up there, get our energy, get up by 8 nothing, get that, that blood flowing and everything. But we also got to remember this. The Lakers are a great team. Yep. We know they're good. They walk breeze right through the West. I'm talking about Denver, Utah. I didn't think they was going to beat Utah. Denver, Utah, and also um, San Antonio. But this is it. Like I, like I said, Paul Pierce is in his hometown of L.A. He needs to just see the, the, see the spotlight. There's going to be all the celebrities, all the fans in Boston, all the celebrities, all the fans in L.A. He needs to see this moment and see that he, could, he needs to just compete with Kobe somehow. We need to slow, slow him down defensively. If you got to foul him, if you got to put three hands in his face, we got to slow him down because this is one thing. We cannot lose the NBA Finals. We were too hard. Oh, yes. We Blue? cannot lose this. Let me say this right now, okay? If you want a player named Corey Bryant to score you on a given night 60 points, if you want a Saul Paul Gasol once in a while to be in the interior guarding Kendrick Perkins, if you want Lamar Odom to struggle on the road, then crown the Lakers behind because that's what you're crowning. Right. That's what you're crowning right there. Is a good Go one. ahead and crown them. I want the physical team. This is a dream matchup for the Celtics. Lakers are not a physical team. The only way Lakers can win this series, if Kobe Bryant goes stupid and gives you 50 points a game, and he has the ability to do that. He does. He but does. I'm saying they are too physical. There's no way Paul Gasol can guard, never alone Kendrick Perkins, Kevin Garnett. He can't do that. This series is going to be finished in five games. Whoa. Whoa. In five games. Whoa. 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 Five I'm, games? I'm calling it because you know what? The key thing is this. Like you said, the home game. I, I see them winning those two. Detroit was a better team than the Lakers. Period. They're not physical. Am I not making some sense right now? Detroit They're is physical. physical. Yeah, but, I, but um, you, Lakers are a finesse team. You're, as you said, like Lakers are a finesse team. They overachieved this year. Phoenix wasn't physical. No, no Mark Stoudemire's <laughs> physical. Please. You're not physical. No, no one's physical. I mean, San Antonio didn't play them physical. Hey, but I think the key matchup, though, Lamar Odom, he's the X factor, okay? Because sometimes he struggles on the road when he's always fantastic. Right, I'm sorry. KG's going to shut him down. Kevin Garnett he's can going shut, to him, shut down. him down. He needs to have a Easy. top of Bill Russell. Listen, this is, you don't understand the magnitude. I know KG does. I know Paul Pierce does. Ray Allen, Doc Rivers. This is the NBA Finals. This, you guys are old or getting old. You're in the early 30s. This might be your last chance. Yeah. Last chance. I understand. They got to take it. I don't they got to take it right now. I don't want them to fall on one of those Carmelo errors. Yeah. <laughs> the guy gives you 20, 10. Yeah. They're all time in scoring. Just a, just a great player and just. Man, he gets to the final twice and he runs into Michael Jordan in his prime. I mean, this is it right now, Kevin Garnett. You got it. You got it. You, you got it. Win these four games. Who's the sleeper in the series? Who do you think? I my sleeper. I think is going to be James Posey. I, I like James been, Posey coming off the bench Jordan. and guarding Corey Bryant to give Paul Pierce a rest. You know. You know what I fear though. I fear. Um, I think the big thing is the Lakers three point shooting. With, I think oh, that's man. really big. If Kobe can penetrate and dish it out. 
and then Farmar, Romanovich, Fisher. Fisher can pop the three. We that could be a, a lot of trouble right there. Hey, I think Celtics we could actually be aware of that. slow down a little bit. We're not worried about this point guard matchup anymore. True. Exactly. True. We're not worried about Derek Fisher can't post up. No. He can, he's not going to be Ronald off the dribble. He doesn't get nine assists a game. I feel like Ronald's going to be assists. free right now. Ronald's Ronald gonna can enjoy himself. Having said that, though, Ronald might struggle in this series. Here's why. Shawnzy Bills was at a poor hamstring, okay, and wasn't a great defensive point guard in the first place. No. Derek Fisher's a fantastic defensive point guard. Yes. Okay? This series... Is the Sam Cassell X Factor series too? Yeah. Sam Cassell, oh, you can post up Derek Fisher. You can do that. I'm, I'm telling you this right now. All all these I, series and X Factor showed up. Kendrick Perkins is the X Factor. Okay, mm -hmm. 18 true. point, 15 rebounds. True. Every series, someone else steps up. I, I think you know Sam Cassell. Eddie House, he's an energy guy. He's not per se a point guard, but he's an energy guy. He, he his defense. Could, he could also alter and mess up things against Derek Fisher. So I think he also be included in that situation. Speaking of the Lakers and Kobe Bryant, we can't mention Kobe Bryant without even mentioning Michael Jordan. If He if, said it himself. If man. the Lakers, I know, but he, come on. He, he's telling you what you want to hear. If Kobe Bryant somehow wins this championship, could you now put him in the same paragraph as Michael Jordan? No. Why not? Not in the same atmosphere whatsoever. Because this is this is exactly why Michael Jordan was the greatest. Because you have to have people, the next Michael Jordan, who's going to be like Michael Jordan, who's going to be better Michael Jordan. Yeah, that's the comparison. It's comparing Jordan. He's like that. That's it. And you have to compare somebody else, some other player. Is LeBron going to be like Jordan? Is Kobe going to be like Jordan? See, so when you that's have this as the best, the symbol as the best player, like... That's it right there. You can't even have somebody say that he could be the next Michael Jordan. You can't have the next Kobe Bryant. Not yet. You can't do it because Jordan really is that. I want to get on it because I might get him pretty mad. Oh, oh Kobe okay. Kobe Bryant can only be as good as Kobe Bryant could be. <laughs> to say he could be staying on the element, to stand on the top of Mount Everest, no, he's still in the pond. <laughs> he's in the pond. I think this. He cannot ever be Michael Jordan. So I don't know why all these experts are saying, oh, he's like Michael Jordan. Wow, he's pretty damn close. He's pretty darn close to being Michael Jordan by the way he plays. Yes, he is. But to compare him if he wins this championship is baloney. Let me, tell you, let me tell you why it's not baloney. Let me tell you why it is baloney. Okay, I'm on the fence about this. Kobe Bryant, talent-wise, pure basketball-wise, could be, could be as good as Michael Jordan. Dare I say better. Dare I say if he wins a few more championships. However, the reason why he'll never be Michael, okay, he could be Michael Jordan, but he'll never be Jordan. He won't be Jordan because Michael Jordan has changed the world. Yes. He made being bald cool. He's made baggy shorts cool, okay? The name Jordan is almost as well known for his clothing rather than actual Michael Jordan, the basketball player. The businessman Michael Jordan. That's why he'll never be Jordan. But he could be Michael Jordan. I think he could talent-wise. Yeah, he's damn good. I don't, know what, good. Good. I don't know what good. you're seeing. You but, might as well wear a Lakers jersey. I know. Hey, who, what side are you on? No <laughs> side of you. Lakers is very clear, okay? To all the viewers out there, I actually am a Laker fan, but when it comes down uh, to it, okay, Celtics uh -oh. and Lakers, I am a Celtic fan. I bleed green. You know what? I bleed green, okay? Celtics, I'm always right for the now, Celtics. Right now, like I